All right, all right, all right. It is another day and another hat. Oh, boy. Hmm. What? What's that? Y'all got to speak up a little bit. You're on the other side of the screen. What are you saying? Oh, you see something side behind me. Oh, oh, the radius. Oh, those little thing. That little thing. Yeah. It's up. What do you think? So if uh, I know some of y'all weren't on Facebook or Instagram, but if you follow me up on there, I make posts occasionally, you know, little snippet things. Uh, we do a little updates. You might have already seen it, but yeah. There you go. One radius done. It, uh, yeah, I've got to come back. So after we pour the pool, we're going to move the bracing here. So we've got the plumb wall bracing on most of this, but we're going to use the Zonson Zuckles. They're going to come real hand, come in real handy on doing this curve stuff. We can put extra attachment points. We're going to run those boards down, make sure this is plumb. And then after I do that, I'm going to spray foam all the, all the connections. Yeah, that turned out nice. A lot of work, um, but the trick was using the one-sided forms like we did on the pool. So when I go to the other side where I'm starting, I'll, uh, I'll show you the difference just in case. It's a little refresher. But yeah, that's, uh, that's up. So that worked out pretty good. We've just been going through punch list stuff. So that's why I haven't really put out a bunch of videos like it was because most of it's you know, mundane, repetitive stuff. But uh, so we're doing extra bracing. We've got two by eights. They're going down from this wall just as extra protection because, uh, you know, to be able to get something cranked back against was pretty long. Um, now, something else we can do. In fact, I'm going to talk to James about this on while I'm on camera. You know, one other thing we can do after those are in, yeah. those zuckles don't have to be at the dirt end. They can be at this end. Okay. So we could take the two by fours, you know, get them, cut them, even with the concrete. cut them even with the concrete where they'll fit in there yeah. and where they'll butt up against it. You know what? We, we could take like a two by four and screw it into the, uh, to the existing holes yep. for it to rest on. Or, have, or we could set it on top of the wall right there and cut a notch in it where the two by four sits on top of the concrete. Yeah, either one. Yeah. And then on this end, you could take it loose and put the uh, zuckles on it. And then we could we could adjust it from this end instead of from way back there. Yeah. That might be the better plan. Because it's like say that it's, it's two ways. I agree. So, see, that's, that's why we put these videos out. Y'all learn them with us. Uh, you know, we went double that up 16 foot for they're just two uh chris is coming this is tuesday when i'm filming this chris is coming wednesday we got we're gonna add two more inches of gravel inside i've got to uh build up these corners just a little bit where the negative edge wall uh anyway you'll see but that's all pretty straightforward it's a, it's pretty much ready to pour um and then these you've already seen these built We've been going around putting the little, there's these metal ladders that go on the top, uh, little frames that make sure the top of the wall straights. We've been doing that stuff. Like I said, mostly just punch list stuff. Uh, we're pretty much ready. I'm building this radius next. So that's what I'll have the time lapse on. I'm gonna come off of our little pin there and make a mark on the outer edge and the inner edge. If I was using the two-sided forms, you'd only need one, but I'm gonna try and do it with the two-sided. You'll see. So let's show you this. So this is a typical two-sided form. Well, this is actually a corner, but same deal. Already connected. And it's got this pin, metal pin in here. And they fold out. And then the one-sided, that's the two-sided. The one-sided forms are what we used on the pool, where we have one on one side. Well, they come with these little slots in them. And then you've got your web that goes in there. Well, you can, you don't have to have the wood on one side and the foam on the other. You can have foam on both sides and run a web in there. So it allows us to take this, since it's only one piece, I could push on it and kind of form it to that radius that we want, and then come back on the inside and do that. Those are the 
12 inch forms that are ready because we're going to need those. The top two rows on this radius will have to be those. So we're going to have some stuff left over, but that's okay. I got, uh, we've got other projects. So we use them on this. So you get to see us put these windows in. There's five of these going in. Uh, these will go in. Uh, once we get three stacks up, I think it is, or it might be two and a half. I got to measure them out because these are a little taller. And then we'll set our windows in and mess with that, get that how we want, and then build it the rest of the way up. So get this one done. So I started on this radius over here yesterday afternoon. So actually all that procrastinating only ended up with like, I've got six hours in it now. I mean, it's not bad. So I'll build this one and then we'll just have the stairwell when they are left to do. Tater and Donnie have gotten all the vertical rebar in, so that's done. I said, just going through the punch list, little stuff remaining. And uh, our pours are going to be end of next week and the week after. So uh, the Nadur guys wanted to be back out here for the pour and for reasons they can't be here till the first week of June. So it's okay. It's one reason we're not in a rush and not on a time scale because Part of this is making sure that we get uh, you know good footage and show show them what we're doing and hide them so you guys can see them too and yada yada yada. So that's all right. It'll let us uh, kind of dot the I's, cross the T's, double check, triple check everything, and uh, hopefully be ready for poor day. The super floor, the flooring system is ready in Ohio. They're going to ship it down soon. Um, and then the steel guys from uh, Steel and Pipe Corp out of Sanford are coming out. They're gonna set, you'll get to see that, that's gonna be pretty cool. They're gonna erect all of the steel. It gets quite a bit of steel in it for holding the floor system. So we'll uh, get all that up, you'll get to see that, and yeah, we'll get it going. Right, James? Yep. Okay. Watch your back. Huh? <laughs> what is that? What? Your shirt. Hell, I don't know, I went to Roses and got it. I just grabbed a shirt. It was buy five pairs of pants, get three shoot uh, t-shirts free. So I didn't even pay attention. I just grabbed it. I like it. All right, let's get to it. And we're back. All right. Might as well cut some two by eights up and do that. I mean, more strength is better, right? Yeah. All right, well, I got all that tied in. All right, so I got these screwed down. If you saw the video, I don't know, it's probably been a month or, well, it was the first week of March. So, ooh, it's been a while. Anyway, um, yeah, so now we take, wherever they are, where'd I put them? Oh, these. So I take these, little 3 eighths deal. 
these go in here like that and just like the forms you bend them and as you bend them you screw them into this block and then that becomes the bottom kind of holder form for the uh, for the foam then you screw the foam in as you go around and then that holds it so this radius doesn't seem to be as tight as the other one was so i may try the two-sided form again but we'll see i'll probably i mean i'll probably at least try it so that see how that goes but uh my current plan is to use one-sided forms do this and then take another set of blocks and do the radius for the inside build this one up so this is the hardest part if well this is yeah this is the hardest part getting this set up getting this right getting the first row down once you have that can't have anything if it's easy right james so there you go well uh something always gotta be a pain in the ass <laughs> especially here all right so we'll uh continue with this and make something happen that's what we're about he's back see it's not even fall yet Hmm. Do, 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 do. All right, we walk over this. So he's gonna add some gravel in there. It needs a little more. That'll be enough. So. Yeah. You hear that? He said, I'll come look. He doesn't trust me. I mean, it could take some more. Well, I mean, it's just, we got to rake out two more inches anyway. Just remember every scoop I put in there is going to save your life. Man, can we just fill the whole thing up with it? Oh yeah, we need some more. That's gonna disappear all over here quickly. No, I didn't even. I can't even see over there. You can't see over there. Oh, have you tried opening your eyes? Oh, hold on. Oh, oh, this over here. Yeah. Yeah. Hey. Hey. Why don't you put some more in there, I'm like I suggested? Get, I'm gonna go get another scoop. Yeah. And then. Uh, yeah. Maybe if you're nice, I can get some dump right there. Because if it needs to come up two inches, it's going to come up, what is that, a three inch pipe or four inch? About, that's a three inch pipe. So it's going to come up, you know, the inch from the top. Yep. So that's going to disappear really quickly. Yeah. Okay. What's going to hold the concrete from going under that? The fast foot. Hmm. The fast foot. But it isn't it just going to fill the hole. I mean, no. No, it's stapled up on the back side. Oh, okay. I got you. Yeah. Open your eyes. Open your eyes and look. Oh, sorry, I have my sunglasses on. <laughs> oh, I see it now. These are my blinders. So Future's so bright. I don't have to see this dumb crap.
Alright. Now you're just showing off. Alright. That's better. Yeah. That's going to be a good shot I got right there. Is it? Yeah, that's pretty cool. What size is that box right there? From where you stopped to here is... Uh, no, if you just squared up from the sun shelf over. Uh, yes, yeah, so I'm giving the guys off tomorrow. I've got work to do Thursday. Uh, I'll have to rake that out, so that's going to be a lot of fun. Uh, but, I mean, it's not too bad. Chris is really being helpful by getting the pile spread out a little more, so they also need to get it down and level to two inches everywhere, two and a half or so, and, uh, and I'll recalculate for the concrete. Not as good as anywhere. Right yeah. Where? No. All the pipes are down there. That's pretty good. Yeah. That should do it. Yeah, just. I already fell off the eight foot today. All right. Uh, that should be easy.
All right. So, as you can see, we've got a rainy day. It's actually slacked off a little bit, so I thought I'd come out and do a quick ending to the footage so that uh, I can wrap this video up. I'm just kind of sitting down in my mobile office down there finalizing things. So as you saw, I put together, start putting together this radius. Kevin with uh, Milliken Logistics, you've seen him on channel before. He dropped off. We got more of the pre-bent corners from MST, so that's fiberglass corners and more stirrups so I can finish all the uh, over top. In fact, all those, that'll take care of the rest of the entire house. So that's nice. But yeah, built these three up and started putting in that one. I need to get my tools up out of the rain. I'll do that now too. But I put the other side in and then uh, probably work tomorrow. This is Friday, but probably work tomorrow. So we'll set set these in place. There's five windows in this curve. So we'll set those in, get those exactly where we want. And then I'll build the rest of the way up. And so that'll be good for that. Let's see what else we got going on. So the gravel got finished being raked out. So I'll need to go out and uh, run some string lines and make sure my floor drains are level. And I gotta put some feet over on that side. This, nothing really happens in there till after this first pour. All right, so yeah, the big sand we got left is doing, building the lentils. So to make these lentils, which is basically the concrete beam over top of all the openings, we'll take some of those cur uh, angled MST bars, go down beside the openings, and then we'll run connecting rebar between them. And then there's those stirrup pieces that will go between it. So I'll, I'll film all that uh, when we get that done. So that'll be cool to see. Uh, I've got to fill that gap in. Won't be too big a deal. Yeah, so it's been a fun week. We got a lot done. It's kind of hard to tell just because it's mostly punch list stuff. Except for the radius. Of course, seeing those come together. And then this will be the last radius to build. This one's pretty sharp though. We'll measure off of that. It only comes to like here. So that's gonna be a pretty sharp bend. We'll probably still get the outside done with some relief cuts, but inside is going to be more challenging. And then uh, we're on to finishing up the garage space. So that'll be next week's big adventure. And then week after is when we're gonna do our pours talked about earlier in the video while we had pushed that off. Thanks for tuning in. Uh, I'm gonna fly the drone. Haven't done that in a while. Uh, as soon as the rain lets off, which it should be pretty soon, I'll fly the drone and uh, then I'll see you in the next one.
that's taken and all that remains these things on a given they're a gift to behold like the first sin 